so old art huh i've been going through my computer I, i've had this laptop for about five years or so and i found a gold mine of old art pieces that i was really proud about at the time i remember it, it was approximately between 2013 through like 2015 maybe and i remember very clearly drawing some of them and being really really proud about them so in this video we're gonna go through some of them and i'm gonna repaint one of them with my current um with my current skill level so we'll see how that goes out and uh please don't mind big ass metal booger i have because i lost my regular ring that i wear in there and i know that this one is very obnoxious but that's the only one that i can put in as of right now please bear with me so this piece i remember it's approximately 2014 and i remember being really fond of Ameri um, alice american maggie or what it's called so i was trying to draw her because you can see the blue dress and the white apron or whatever but so this is a digital piece i only have three digital pieces because the only ones that left they were in my documents folder as um, art rage paintings because i was using art rage at the time and i did not have a proper graphics tablet like drawing pad like like pen pad or anything i had <laughs> it was i remember i'll try to find and pop a picture on the screen but it was like genius brand mouse pen and from what i understand they do go as graphic tablets as if they do actually like go pen pressure on the whole the whole shebang but the drivers never worked with my computer like i don't know why i remember i bought i got that thing as a gift in like 2009 2010 maybe and it never worked like it worked as a mouse but it never worked as um like graphics tablet so I'm, I'm trying my best to use it and um this this few pieces are the last time i tried to use that thing but um this is this little piece and then this one oh my <laughs> from what i understand from what i understand and remember it's, it was supposed to be severus snape because i did go through very massive like harry potter phase and I still like it, like don't get me wrong, but at the time I was obsessed with it. I was obsessed and I remember painting this portrait of Snape and um, being very proud of it. But So this one, uh, this little uh, portrait, it's like, you know, I always drew like ladies and, you know, like a party girls and whatever. But this particular one, it's like the longer you look at it, it's just like the worse it gets. But hey everybody starts somewhere right so this is that then let's go and see the traditional drawing I remember that I was a school at the time and so I have a lot of um, ballpoint pen drawings and that I remember I thought it was like the best thing ever and that was the queen of like cross hatching or whatever and like uh, like uh, this is not bad like this i would i would change a few things but it's not horrible i guess this one it was the it was about 2014 i think too and um that was the point when i really decided that i really wanted to do tattoos eventually so i started like designing tattoos and whatever and uh, i remember thinking to myself that i was like the best at it it's like you know i had that cocky kind of like attitude i guess about it i thought i was the best and i was like mm. just like so talented so good and like there's just like i'm more than picasso and um i was a very arrogant teenager <laughs> so um this is one of them and it's not bad i can't it can't be better but you know that one i remember was the first i think i got a couple of um alcohol markers like a few shades it was um they were pro markers i think back when they still were with the electro set and um, they were going on sale because they were rebranding at the time so i got a few shades and um i was i was very confused on how to use them and because you know with the markers you typically 
um, confined to the shades that you have. So I only have like four. I have this green, this like tan color, cream color, and like brown, I think. And I was like very confused. I was like, well, I don't have enough colors to do anything. And that's one. A lot. Yeah, you can see it's like where the flash designs and uh, that one. I think it was, I think it was copied from a picture I found on the internet. It was very pretty. Um, well, it wasn't copied. It was like study or whatever. And then with this weird, <laughs> this weird dude, like lizard dude, and uh, I was very curious about watercolors but I never knew how to use them properly and um, that was like the time when I started trying to use watercolors then I was doodling a lot in class like that's bad example but I was doodling a lot in class so that's one of those doodles and I remember like creating a lot of this like weird monsters and whatnot and there was me there was that thing again that was my most favorite pen in the world it was i remember it was like this bright blue gel pen it was really really smooth and it was very very messy and uh yeah you can see it again like i was creating this weird little monsters which i honestly i think i should revisit and maybe like make some cool with them yeah it's like i would get i would get all blue on the side of my hand and was my experience with chalk pastels i didn't like it <laughs> like i like the medium i just didn't like that i couldn't control it well and also the paper that i was using was very smooth so the um chalk pastels had really hard time adhering to it that's why i've heard that like a lot of people some people even use chalk pastels on um sandpaper so uh, no um i didn't enjoy that <laughs> and again yeah, i think it was a doing class or something then it was my then is not a fire portrait i was so proud of it and it's not a bad sketch i just don't like how in this picture all his hair just grows at this spot not like anywhere else <laughs> which is like a reoccurring problem with me for some reason because i tend to draw hair as if it was just growing out of the like part and like nowhere else it's just like tufted hair on top it was me at my it was me at my job because i used to work at a coffee shop and it was really slow it was a really small coffee shop and it was really really slow there so i would spend a lot of time doodling that was my progress shot i think the difference between these two is about a year because the first one uh, is about 2013 i want to say and the other one is 2014 or so so I was just like, mm, 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 look at me progressing, look at me throwing, and mm, that was another flash design. I was another flash design stippling. Like that one, it's, I really want to redo it, because it's kind of like, it's okay. For like five, six years back. Like I really kind of, I kind of like this one. I should probably redo it i like this one's like this japanese peony and the the wave crashing that was me designed to do for myself because i was a barista so i was uh creating the coffee barista thing to do i was like this is not i'm not offended it's okay that one was my now the trial watercolors and then <laughs> so this is this was my phase of um, drawing a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, I wasn't even that young at the time. Like, I wasn't 19, I think. But, you know, I was hip, I guess. And I, I liked the first game. And uh, I used to watch a lot of Markiplier and PewDiePie and, like, all those gamers at the time. So, um, I was um, a little obsessed with the theories on Five Nights at Freddy's at the time. So, I was drawing a lot of them. I was, like, a bunny and a foxy and then a little funny one and then a little comic strip it was like i think it was five nights afraid too where you would put the mask on and um hide from the animatronics at the office that was the one i was just like yeah <laughs> then there was this theory that um that oh i forgot what was 
almost like a theory about puppies or something and I was like oh my god it's so sad and then this one I think it was a character from some I don't remember where but I remember it was fan art it wasn't like a studio comic book it was um an indie kind of author comic comic book I don't remember who it was but I remember it was fan, fan art too bad I don't remember who it was it sucks <laughs> another Five Nights at Freddy's and little titties probably have to send her those um, another it was the human it was the human mango or whatever and um yeah I remember always drawing kind of like the line under the breasts on women kind of I like me that vacuum sealed clothing look <laughs> like you can see every crevice I guess uh, fun times this was like, you can see I kind of tried to construct the face a little better. And I believe that, I think this picture is in chronological order. So we're progressing from the earlier one to the later ones. So like, it gets a little better, I think. Maybe. This one was a little edgy. Because I was, um, well, I still am kind of like an emo kid. Like I was the... Same kid back in 2008-2009, I was an emo kid, so it's kind of like, it's not a phase, mom, it's not a phase, it's still inside me, so I do draw, well, not, not anymore, not so much, but I used to draw like all this like kind of like, into self portraits and like, <laughs> stuff like this, and then I was um, like that, yeah, um, I'm still pretty much kind of like the edgy teenager this one it has like the head is so big like what happened what happened to you like why is your head so big i think it's a reflection of like how i see my own body i guess because i have a rather big head like it's not like abnormally big but it's kind of big for my frame and i have a really tall i have a really tall four heads kind of like five heads so <laughs> most of my characters they tend to have really big four heads just because it's not a self insert it's just the features that I see the most because you know I see myself every day but I don't necessarily see other people every day because I'm a hermit so um most of my characters tend to have rather large foreheads and um for some reason really long noses like this this is like two things that um I struggle with a lot so I make like really big heads and then I make this part really long and then it kind of looks a little a little yucky and then it was me drawing myself at work me drawing with somebody I think it was like somebody's OC and I drew myself with their OC <laughs> It was me designing a dress for some reason, which is funny because I never wear dresses, especially like night gown, not night gown, like evening gowns like this. I can never wear those. That was me trying like that kind of like bendy noodle arm adventure time style thing. And um, I think I bought like new watercolors. I got like a new watercolor set and I was testing it out with like all these like blendy blendies. But I was using the completely wrong paper, but it's okay now I kept working on the bold lady and the <laughs> you know I was like trying to polish a turd so hard but um at the time I thought it was like badass little, little, little pigeon little, I don't know plague doctor cursed marionette kind of thing like I don't know I don't know what that is this I remember I'll show you later. There was a um a sketch, like an idea for a sculpture because I used to do a lot of sculpting like plasticine, like all based clays that don't really go hard. So I used to do those a lot and um that was one of the ideas that I came up with and um well I mean kinda did it but didn't turn out as as I wanted it to because I didn't have like enough skill level to do that. That was another flash design. Ooh, that one I actually really like this one. I think I still have it. It was this edgy 
a series I was gonna make. It was called like God is Dead, and I was gonna make all this um different like Greek gods, like all like dead and zombified. So um, it was I started with Athena, and um, I think I did two. It was Athena and I think Aphrodite, but um, I never finished it. Oh, it's a random picture of a cat. Yeah, the flash. It was a portrait of a friend, I guess. I don't know. It's just like I'm looking at this, like designs, and like I thought they were badass, but now I'm looking at it. And I'm like, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. This kind of like, I guess it just shows that your perception improves with your skill, and there's I don't remember I was reading about it was an article about I really like those folds actually it was an article about it that um, your perception and your skill level they develop at different rates so at some point when um, your perception goes higher than your skill level you start like kind of loathing your art like ah, you start seeing like all the different mistakes even things that you just created and you think that your level like your skill level doesn't go up but really does just has to catch up with your perceptions level i guess and then just like bloop, bloop, bloop. because um that's the same when you create something in, pa in the past and then you think that was like the most the greatest thing of all the, the greatest thing in the world and then it just in a couple years it's just like you can see all the mistakes and how bad it looks and that means that your perception level just like bloop, bloop, went up so um yeah that's i kind of like this one like still i have a really big head really big forehead and really long nose but i kind of like this one i kind of like this like creepy one creepy lady i think i was following a tutorial on this one then i just colored it in with weird colors that one the cap it was a character from a comic book it was um called gen 13 and um i loved it like i know it was not age appropriate for me at the time because it was very like sexual and stuff like not not completely like pornographic but it was very suggestive and like very lewd i guess but i, I loved it i was like nine i loved it like i would sneak out and I'd buy it and like hide it under my mattress like like it was porn or something and um it was, it was really fun it was like it's, it's a gorgeous it's a gorgeous comic book too i'm sad that i don't have them anymore but um it's a, it's a gorgeous comic book it's very nice that was me trying to figure out perspective i think that was when i started being a little more mindful about how i draw because um i was i started willing to have some kind of career in that like connected with art because i never thought i would because my family was always like yeah i want to be a starving artist but you know here i am <laughs> but uh um, there was when I started being a little more mindful about it and uh, started like reading about perspective and all that stuff I still have a lot to learn just because it's I'm still slacking on it But that was the point when I started taking it a little more serious, I guess And then I took I was taking a really long break too because these drawings they cut go from 2013 approximately 2015 or so and then I did not pick pick up drawing again until probably late 2000s not late probably like mid just just mid 2017 or so because um i was sad the whole time so i didn't i was sad so i didn't want to draw <laughs> so i kind of gave it up for a little while and um i mean no but now it's just like I got a little more serious about it and um, I, I hope it shows I don't know that one I blocked out because it was um, my account back in the day and uh, yeah it's not bad it's not a bad portrait it's not a good portrait but it's not a bad one like it's okay and then I remember trying to make on the other page trying to make um Brett Tyler like Brad Pitt's character from the Fight Club and just failing miserably because I was gonna do Morden's character on one side with blue outline and then um, 
Tyler Durden on the other on the other page with the red outline and just failed miserably. I just gave up. <laughs> I just, more than can't wait flash. I guess I'll show you some of the um, like flashes and stuff that they drew recently. And I don't think they're like anything to write home about. Like they're not the best, but I started kind of collecting the more the better designs and putting them away in the folder so I can take it eventually take it to like the tattoo shops if I want when I am able to go and like get apprenticeship. Um, I'm gonna take it. That's why in most of my sketchbook tours you don't see the good ones because I take them out of the sketchbook and I put them in this little folder and uh, keep them separate. So um, I'll show I'll show that eventually when I get a little more full. But there's a lot of um, a lot of little flash designs like that. And I have one thing that they're better, but you know they're okay. They're they're a little better. That was my <laughs> that was my um, <laughs> art supply hole, I guess, because I got that set of watercolors and I got a few um, a few few pens and a needle eraser I was really happy and I was trying to make the static shots <laughs> that was um, another little flash because I was obsessed with the um, sesh it's um it's kind of like rap group music thing bones like I was obsessed with bones like I still like them a lot like I like the music but back in the day I was absolutely obsessed uh, obsessed like I wouldn't listen to anything about it and I usually go through this like phases when I won't listen to anything but like the one thing like for a year and then I'm just like over it <laughs> I don't know that was um, one there well I guess now it was Ross Dillon's song and uh, I was getting into calligraphy a little bit and I had um, Somebody gave me a Pilot Parallel pen. It like has this um, really squared off tip, so you can do all different lines when you do calligraphy. So um, I was playing with that a lot. <sighs> I actually got that tattooed on me. <laughs> that to the bone. The funny thing it is, a chicken bone, <laughs> because I was eating chicken. And then I was just like sitting there with chicken bone. I was like, mm, chicken bone, bone, bed to the bone. <laughs> so I, I just used that chicken bone as a reference and um, I just drew it up. And I actually, I still like it. And I got tattooed on me and it's permanent and I, I rather like it. So um, that's cool. <laughs> Catwoman. I was trying to kind of like do the Michelle Pfeiffer one, but I don't know. I feel like her back's a little broken, but she's Catwoman. Cats are supposed to be really flexible. That was the other, um, the God is Dead series picture. And then I was gonna leave them as like monochrome, but then I thought that it just like didn't look right without her like flowing gold, kind of like gingery locks. So um, I colored it in a little bit. Um, it was my OC, don't steal. <laughs> I was I always... So the problem, that was the other character. The problem, I cannot write. Like, I cannot write for the life of me. But I really like creating, like, characters for, like, storytelling, but I cannot tell a story. 